Hey, uh, it is Sarah here. So in this video, I wanted to talk about my experience um, with sending my child to a Waldorf school. <laughs> um, the only thing that I'm asking for in this video is a lot of understanding. That is one of the things that I ask. Um, that's the only thing that I really ask of my community, and I'm so grateful that we have an open-minded community where we can have differing opinions and respect where somebody is coming from. Um, so that's really the only thing that I ask. Um, I do ask that you keep an open mind. Everything that I share in this video is 100% true, um, and this is just me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna chat with you. I'm gonna be real. Okay, so. To start off with, I was incredibly ecstatic about Waldorf initially. I was over the moon. I um, There was a Waldorf school here locally that was about an hour away that we discovered when I was researching for more holistic, like hands-on approaches to education that really fit what some of our values are. So just, just as a person and as a family, we value um, limited technology. Um, we don't do like tablets or phones or video games, very limited TV. If we do watch TV, it's usually as a family on the weekends or it's an educational show. Or if they're watching, you know, YouTube or something, it's like a how to discovery video. So that is one of our things. We also don't use a microwave, okay? So we're pretty a little out there for some people. Uh, I love organic food. We we teach our kids about organic food, organic cooking, sustainability. Uh, we had chickens at one point. When we lived down in Missouri, we had like 94 chickens. So you know what I mean? So like we're, this is just a little bit of background to help you understand our family. So when I was, and my son is very intelligent, but he just does not learn as well in a traditional school setting. So I saw the website for this local school. It was like about an hour away. And everything that I saw on the website seemed to be in line with my values. They served organic food for lunch. They had a garden, a community. They had chickens. Outdoor time was very special to them and like it was a, a big focus and I loved that it was the campus was actually at an environmental center which I've been to before. So I thought that this was going to be just perfect for us. I was so sure that I committed to driving one hour one way to get to this school because at the end of the day as a parent and as a mom I'm going to do my best for my kid. So one of the first things that I noticed when I, you know, after I had the enrollment um, discussions for admissions was I got a sheet of paper that I had to sign and that really didn't throw off any flags. I was just like, okay, well, they just are obviously very serious about their no technology rule. Like the sheet of paper that I got was very like there is none this is a signed contract you know we're very serious about that they also required quite a bit of volunteer hours i think it was like between 40 and 50 hours <clears throat> don't quote me on that if you're looking at the local school here and uh so anyway so i just thought again it's a small school they they emphasized on their site about the community aspect so i was just fine with it so i my son starts going to school there. We, oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. We drive up and it's this idyllic setting. It's serene. It's in the middle of these big woods in this environmental station. It, it's just so <clears throat> charming. Okay. It's like so charming and just perfect and picturesque. And all of the schools were kind of old timey classroom and not, none of the digital stuff that they have nowadays. None of like you know, posters or anything like that. It was all just old classrooms in this environmental campus, the old school desks and all of that. Um, and so I really, at first, when I was touring the campus, I didn't see anything that threw me off. Our very first day, the one thing that I kind of did start to notice, though, was that I got the feeling like it was, the, the community was so tight. It was almost like clicky where I felt like if I wasn't in I was out it, you know what I mean are you ever around those groups where you feel like if you're not in their little thing like you're just an outsider it was very apparent to me like after talking to some parents and that I was I and they were like well when are you planning on doing this or this or this and I was like oh I don't know and you can just tell like some of the the looks and stuff and so 
I knew people who had sent their kids here and loved it, and so I thought, I'm just imagining this. So my nanny and friend was with me that day, and the first thing that really kind of threw me a little bit was their initiation ceremony. And it was just a little bizarre for me. And I consider myself a kind of out there person. I'm also a feeler. Like I'm a very, you know how you get like feelings or like those gut like, Ugh. I'm a very feeling intuitive person. This is who I am. Um, I can sense different things and sometimes it doesn't make sense, but I've learned especially over the last couple of years to embrace that. So for some reason that I couldn't put my finger on, as I'm watching this initiation ceremony that was just bizarre and they had songs and just this weird like little ritual, something was off about it. Now, I ignored that because it went off in here. It was like, ugh, like something. I still don't know what it was about that ceremony, but something was off. And I ignored it. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm being ridiculous. I felt really, I just felt like I was being a crazy person. And my son continued to attend the school and he experienced some, um, I don't know what to really call it. <sighs> this is where it gets a little bit weird for me to talk about and I've never honestly shared this with anyone other than my husband, my mom, and one other person who specifically asked me about the specific school. She's local friend and she asked me about it. Um, I had told everybody that we were going to this school. I, I was so excited and so sure that I vlogged and blogged about it and I said that how we'd found the perfect school and I've never shared any of this and certainly not publicly but I feel like Given the information that I thought about this school, I felt incredibly misled because what I thought was going to be this very innocuous learning environment that was holistic and just really like unbiased, you know, like away from the agendas and the core math and stuff in public schools. So what I thought was this very like unbiased curriculum and method of learning when I started to dig deeper, I found out that it was anything but unbiased. And what I found was lying underneath the core and curriculum of the Waldorf type of school, I had to make this video. Especially as a person that is faith-based. You know, there's a difference between spiritual and faith-based. I'm not gonna say religious. I'm not a religious person. I am a faith-filled spiritual person. Now there are different types of spiritual. You can you can have like the spiritual out there woo woo tarot reading crystal ball type of people. Okay, that's spiritual. I am spiritual in the faith filled way and I identify with that. Now maybe if this is not a value that you have, um, I would say then this might not matter from here on out. Or if you're uh, if you're a person who just who this doesn't who doesn't care about that, that's fine. Oh, um, but if you are looking for an education that truly is unbiased and just natural and not brainwashing your kid in any way, then I would consider reading or, or listening on. And I will share the, po the link to my post below with the resources that I found. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to share my honest experience with you here. I'm, I'm kind of giving you some background here before I go forward because the next part gets a little personal. So I'm, sh I'm sharing that here because I don't want to tell you what to do, but I want you to make your own decisions based off of the information that you find. I want you to be aware and to figure out what works for you. Okay, so fast forward a little bit. My son had been attending the school for a couple of weeks and he had, I, every time I picked him up, I just started to get this really weird sense. I had no, no evidence whatsoever of this. It was just a really bad, really weird feeling. And the only other time <clears throat> I'd gotten this feeling, and to be totally honest, was when I had done paranormal investigating with a paranormal investigating team in a home and place that has been confirmed to be like a, like a, I'll say like a haunted place, okay? So I had this weird feeling, this gut feeling like it was just, ugh. like just, 
I don't know how to explain it, but I, I kept putting it out of my head. I was like, what the heck? Like, no, this is fine. This is great. They're feeding him organic meals. You know, he, okay. So I kept getting this really weird feeling. And the one day as I was leaving, I'm driving away with him in the car. I had this feeling and sometimes as I'm feeling things, I will have a word connection. I can't explain this, okay, and if it sounds a little crazy, turn it off and just count me as a whack job. I really don't care, this happened. So as I'm driving away in the car, I just got this feeling that, and all I heard in my head, I don't know if that's the right word, but all, the feeling that I got was witchcraft. Now I was like, I started telling myself immediately, I'm like, oh gosh, now you're off the crazy end, lady. I was like, witchcraft, it's just a school. You just, there's, you just don't want to drive, so you're making excuses why we're not going to go, you know, whatever. My head starts telling me all these reasons. So I immediately put that out of my head. We continued attending the school. My son started getting really bad headaches. He started uh, crying a lot, not wanting to go, and he started having really bad dreams and nightmares. And so finally, one day when I picked him up from school, um, he told me what they were doing in class that day. And he said, yeah, we learned how to cast spells with our wands. This was two to three days after I had that word pop into my head. And I was like, what? Okay, so mind you, we'd already had that like initiation ceremony thing. And it was just weird. Like I felt like an outsider in this school. Parents were... Some of the parents were just, they looked at me funny when I went and I was like, am I imagining this? I don't know what's going on. I, 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 I should love this school. It's perfect, right? So we go home that night and he starts to have another nightmare and he's waking up and he's crying and he keeps saying, the witches are coming to get me. They're screaming, the black witches are coming to get me. That, my friends, was it. He woke up that night and I was just like, I don't care. There is something weird about what's going on. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know what it is, but it was too big of a coincidence to ignore. So the next day I called the school and I, when I went to go to the school to pick up his stuff, um, I talked to the enrollment coordinator and here we are in her office and sure enough, my son goes, look mom, these are the wands we were working with and they genuinely were wands, like straight up wands with crystals on the ends and some of the things that he was reciting about, which were, which were called poems, y'all were straight up beginner spells. And they were passing it off as poetry and outside. So then I started to get a really, really weird, really bad feeling. And I was just like, immediately, have you ever been somewhere where you don't want to be anymore and you just want to get the frick out? I can't explain it, but that was exactly what was happening to me. And here, it was this school that I thought was going to be like outdoor and holistic. They do holistic stuff, and they, but it was very, very not that. And all I can say is that their website and what they were doing was covering what was really going on underneath. Now, whether or not you guys want to believe that or not, I that is that is fine, but I would be doing anyone on my channel and anyone who's asked me about our experience at that school a disservice if I wasn't anything but 100% honest about what happened and why my son does not attend there and why I don't recommend I don't personally recommend people go unless that is something that's okay with you. If you are faith-based in any sense of the word, I highly, strongly suggest you research this and you go to the, my link below, you read other people's accounts, you learn about what their, what their curriculum actually is, you read the manuscript for what the Waldorf education was founded on, and you educate yourself on what it is. So it really, we were done. And I'm not kidding you, as we were leaving, um, there was this one teacher who I had seen since day one. And as I'm walking through the woods, I put my son in the car, I was going back to get extra stuff. The admissions counselor was trying to figure out in just this way, like why we were going. And I just said, you know, it's just not working for us. We wanna thank you so much for the opportunity. I just wanted to get out. As I'm walking to the car, I look up at the hill, right? And this was the one person who gave me the weebies from day one. Couldn't put my finger on it. She had really, really long, like dreaded out hair, 
Very rarely did she wear a bra. Like, she was one of the yoga teachers, I think. And I don't care. Like, that's fine. You do you, girlfriend. So, whatever. But she was standing up here at where one of the facility centers was. And I was walking over here to my car. And I could just, you never get that feeling like somebody's watching you. I turned, like, right, and I look, and I can see her, right? So I'm looking down this path. You know, it's like this walking path, and I can see her straight. She's probably just a couple hundred yards away, but I can see her face very clearly. I can see everything. She's standing there, deadpan, looking at me. Now, she's the one who gave me the creeps from day one, and I couldn't put my finger on it. She's standing there. She doesn't wave. She stands there, looks down at me from that hill. Her mouth is very clearly moving. She ain't saying a thing. She's just staring at me. And I got in my car faster than I have gotten anywhere in my entire life. I left that school that day sobbing. I, I called my mom, who was the only person I told about any of this. And that woman was standing there looking at me like this. I could see her mouth moving. Now, what was she saying? No idea. Don't want to know. Don't care don't want to know but that is exactly what happened with my and now maybe you're saying well that doesn't happen at our Waldorf school that's great I am so glad that it doesn't but if you are a parent or you're considering Waldorf I highly and you think oh it looks so harmless it, it just looks so harmless and great and holistic and it's everything that we thought we wanted if you are in any sense of the word please do not go into one of these schools uneducated or unaware I highly suggest that you do your proper research because what may seem really great and what I started to learn about the schools and why they don't allow some art mediums and why do they paint with more watercolors. Mm. It's a really interesting reason or why they have those little statues in their room or why they're out in the woods teaching sustainability and actually when you look at the curriculum of Waldorf, does it, does it meet academic standards? Is it really? <laughs> Yeah, so when I started, to, those are some things that you want to look at and I would I would genuinely ask because from what I've read from other parents was that the curriculum and some of the things that they do, like their morning pledges or morning prayers, which aren't really, they're more, they don't call it prayers, they call it like their morning words. Yeah, get really, really involved if you're a parent in a Waldorf curriculum or Waldorf based in any way school get involved make sure that you know exactly what your child is doing during the day make sure you ask the hard questions like why don't you paint with other mediums or colors or why do you only use watercolor what is the true reason like what what is what happens when you're older and some of these graduation ceremonies for Waldorf like just look it up that's all I can say so anyways I want to thank you for giving me the platform to be able to share <laughs> my experience openly and honestly um, if you have any specific questions um, I might be happy to answer I might disable the comments for this video I have not decided yet um, but anyways I'm gonna put in my link down below the links to the research that I found when I was digging and I hope that this helps you make a really informed aware and educated decision on whether or not you're going to choose to send your child to a Waldorf based school um, personally I obviously opted out of it and I am looking into a Montessori type school instead which was founded by um, Italian I think her name is Maria perhaps <laughs> I don't really know but it's more hands-on and the curriculum genuinely is hands-on with no from what I can see hidden underlying so I want to thank you very much and I wish you the best